Chapter 2 Cars and Houses 1. Buying a House Dialogue 1 Hello, I'm calling about the apartment you advertised. Yes, what kind of apartment are you interested in? I'm interested in a one-bedroom. Do you have any available? Yes, I have one. When do you need it? Sometime around next week. Well, it's actually a one-bedroom apartment. May I come over tomorrow to take a look? Sure. What time would you like to come? How about 10 a.m.? Good. May I have your name, please? My name is Blanca. Thanks for calling, Blanca. I'll see you tomorrow. Dialogue 2 the apartment looks pretty decent. Around 120 square meters, right? Yes. What about the surrounding area? Very quiet and safe, and it's got a lot of trees and plants. That's good. Is the location easily accessible? Yep. It's near a bus stop. Hmm. Well, maybe we can buy this one then. When can you make a decision? I'll phone you as soon as possible. Two. Renting an apartment. Dialogue one. I've been told you might have a vacant room. Yes, I have a spare room. Would it be okay to look at the room now? Would you come here in 20 minutes? We are right here in the middle of dinner. This apartment looks nice. Yes, it has two bedrooms. That's convenient. How much is the rent? 2,500 yuan a month. This apartment is nice, but I'd like to find a cheaper one. Dialogue 2 I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a room. Yes, I've got a small room. How much do you charge? $35 a week, but don't allow smoking. Okay. Anything else? Also, you can't have visitors, that's all. No problem. Can I see the room now? Would you mind waiting? I'm on the telephone. Well, take your time. I'll come back in a minute. See you. Three. Buying a car. Dialogue 1. Did you go to the auto show yesterday? You mean the car exhibition in the exhibition center? Yeah, it is awesome. Unfortunately, I was quite busy yesterday, so I did not have time for it. Tell me something about it. There were many different kinds of cars of various brands, like BMW, Audi, and QQ. Those big car companies displayed their latest high-tech cars. Sounds interesting. Which car do you like most? I really don't know. They're all great. Actually, I'm planning to buy a car recently. Would you like to come with me? That's great. How about this Sunday? That's a deal. Dialogue 2 Oh my god, there are so many cars here. Which one should I choose? How about that black Honda over there? The car is okay, but I don't like the color. Black looks kind of gloomy. What do you think of that red Audi? It seems terrific. Of course it is terrific, but I'm afraid I cannot afford it. It is too expensive. Oh, look over there. I bet you will like that one. Which one? That white Toyota Vios over there. It looks bright and graceful. Yeah, you are right. Let's have a test drive first. Four. In the car rental shop. Dialogue one. How much is it to rent an economy car? Nineteen dollars a day or $129 a week. Is the mileage limited? No, unlimited mileage. 
Could I have one for tomorrow morning? Do you have your driver's license? Sure, here it is. Good. Now just complete this form. Okay, thank you. Dialogue 2 What's the rate for a station wagon? The daily rate is $32 plus 39 cents per mile. Good. I'll take it right now, if possible. Can I see your license, please? Of course. I have my own license and an international license. That's fine. Fill out this form and let me see your credit card, please. Oh, sorry. I forgot to take my credit card. That's okay. You can pay in cash. That would be better. Five. Filling the gas. Dialogue one. Fill it up with regular, please. All right. Any other problems? I don't know much about it. What's your idea? Should I take a look at your battery? No, thanks. I'm in a hurry. How much is it? Ten dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Dialogue two. Fill it up with premium, please. Sure. Should I check your radiator? No, that's okay. How much do I owe you? That's ten dollars. Fine. Do you want your windshield cleaned? Okay, thank you. But I don't have enough time. Please be quick. No problem. How much is it? It comes to ten dollars, too. Six. Parking fee. Dialogue one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please give your parking card to me. Here you are. Your car has been parked here for two hours. How much is it charged per hour? Five yuan per hour. So I should pay ten yuan, right? Exactly. Here is twenty yuan. Ten yuan back. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Dialogue two. Do you still have a carport? Yes. Please head in. How much is it per hour? Ten yuan. It's so expensive. It's very common here. You see, we are near the station, and please remember there is a time limit for three hours. Oh, a time limit? This is an inequality clause. Whatever you say, this is our regulation. All right. I think I have to. Seven. At the car beauty shop. Dialogue one. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. There is a scratch on the surface of my car. Can you help me clean it away? Let me have a look first. Yeah, I think I can. Actually, I think it is better to give your car a thorough car care. Is that necessary? I think it looks all right. Well, when you take a closer look, you will see the lacquer on the surface is slightly shedding, and the luster is lost now. Oh, I didn't notice that before. So I guess you are right. I'll take a thorough car care. Okay then, let's start. Dialogue two. You're looking unhappy. What happened? It is my car. Yesterday, my nephew accidentally made a scratch on the surface of my car. It looks weird. Oh, don't worry. Why not go to a car beauty shop? Car beauty shop? What's that? It's a shop where can help you renew your car from inside out. So the scratch can be cleaned away. Sure. It is a piece of cake. Oh, thank you so much. I will go there tomorrow. Eight. Finding for over speed. Dialogue one. Excuse me, sir. Didn't you see the red light? Oh, 
I thought I could make a right turn on red here. No, sir. The sign says no turn on red. Oh, I guess I didn't see it. I'm sorry, sir, but may I see your driver's license and insurance policy, please? I have to give you a ticket. Here they are. Sign here, please. You can appeal to the court within 14 days. This slip has all the information you need. Please drive safely, sir. Thank you, officer. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, officer. Would you please show me your driving license? Sure, here you are. Thank you. What's the matter, officer? Madam, you didn't fasten your seat belt. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know that is required. Yes, madam. It's required according to the traffic regulations. Okay, I see. But could you let me go this time? I'm sorry, madam. You have to pay the fine. Nine. Traffic accident. Dialogue one. Hey, you are driving too fast. Look at the traffic sign. It says the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. Don't be so serious. There are not many people and cars in the street. We will be fine. Hey, look out. Stop the car. Oh, I can't stop it. No. We just hit the man. What shall we do? Let me check out how the man is. Oh, thank God. He is alive. He is injured. Let's take him to the nearest hospital. It is my entire fault. I shouldn't have driven so fast. What is done cannot be undone. Let's go to the hospital first. Dialogue 2 Hello. Is this tried and true rent-a-car? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? This is Matt. I rented a car yesterday, and I'm afraid I have a car accident near the Central Park. Sorry to hear that. Are you all right? I'm all right, but my wife is seriously injured. Will you call an ambulance and the police? Okay. I'll do it right away. But can you tell me how it happened? I ran into the guardrail when I turned to the right. Ten. Repairing cars. Dialogue one. Hello, is this Adam's Auto Repair Shop? Yes, it is. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Mr. Butter. I'm calling you about my car. Has it been mended yet? Not yet. It is being mended right now. I see. Tell me, when can I pick it up? Come by at two o'clock. I'm sure it will be ready by then. Thank you very much. See you then. Dialogue 2 Hey, buddy. What's up? Not much. But the brake of my car doesn't work very well. Could you check it for me? No problem. Give me a second. Take your time. Ah, I see. It is the pedal's problem. What should we do with that? No big deal. I'll lubricate it. Okay, here you go. Wow, thank you so much. You're terrific. Chapter 3 Family Life 1. Leaving and Returning Dialogue 1 Hey, Jill. Lovely day, isn't it? Hey, Bill. Long time no see. Yes. How are you getting on? Just so-so. What is the matter with you? You look a little off-color today. I'm recently very busy, also very tired. So I'm very vexed and so annoying. Is this work bone-breaking? Don't mention it. I'll have to do some extra work and come home late each day. If there's no future for this company, you might as well pack your bags and try your luck somewhere else. As soon as I can, I'm going to change job. Dialogue 2 
Oh, honey, you are eventually coming back. Yeah, work overtime again. You're very busy these days, going out early and coming back late every day. Yes, it is obvious that I have less time with you. Not exactly. Even though you are busy, you still remember to take care about me. You are very hard, too. My schedule is very flexible, and I'm given a lot of freedom. I'm okay. Really? How about preparing dinner for me? I've already done it hours ago. I've been waiting for you. Two. Dinner time. Dialogue one. John is visiting us tonight. Ah, good. Which would you like for dinner? Beef, chicken, or fish? I feel like some fish and chips for supper. Shall we dress some salad? Yes, it's fine. Let's get some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers for salad and some of these spices. Garlic, parsley, ginger, and green onions for seasoning. We happen to have all of these. We arranged to come over to us at six o'clock. Let's roll up sleeves and begin to prepare for supper. Did you wash your hands well? Not yet. I'll be there momentarily. Dialogue two. Is dinner ready? Yes, come and get it. What's good tonight? Do you need some help? Today we're having hamburg steak. Wow, chicken noodle clam chowder soup. It's really delicious. Spread a cloth over the table. Strain the fat off before you serve the soup. I'll be right there. Don't spill it. Help me set the table, will you? It's all ready. Fetch your father in for the dinner. He has to make a telephone call first and let us go ahead. Okay, let's eat. Three. Doing the cleaning. Dialogue one. This kitchen's a mess. We should indeed do some cleaning. Have you anything else to do? Nothing important. Now then, get about the job at once. I will go and wash out one or two rags. What a dump! Especially this side of the glass is filthy. If the oil blur on the surface of the glass is too thick to wipe off with dry cloth, wet the cloth with ether. That goes for me too. I'll bring it over. By the way, could you wash the rags? Please throw me that. Catch, please. Dialogue two. Nice weather we're having. Yes, but you see, our bedroom's very untidy. Let's clean it up at once. I have some business to attend to and need to go out at once. Would you mind us clearing it up tonight? I'm sorry, I was engaged for a shopping this evening. Some other time then? Please keep your things together. I'll see to the rest. I'm really sorry for that. I cannot help you. Oh, never mind. Have you taken your dirty coat? Yes, I've hurled the dirty clothes into the washing machine just now. Okay, you may go. Leave it to me. Four. Watching TV. Dialogue one. What would you like to do this evening? I haven't thought it through. It's okay with TV. Let's check the TV schedule to see what's on tonight. What are the attractions? Nothing at all. Here are all the news. What's on following the news? A pop show on Channel Seven, and there is a science fiction on Channel Five. I don't want to watch the news. Let me change the entertainment channel, would you? Sure. I do not watch game shows for a long time. Dialogue two. What channel did you watch last night after I went to bed? Channel one. I watched an English language program. Pity there was a football match on channel two. Really? That's a shame. 
You ought to remind me of that. This program is a rebroadcast this morning. You may watch it then. Well, I think I will have to. What come on next? I want to see the horse racing. Me too. Let's watch it together. Five. Tutoring the child. Dialogue one. When do you take your finals? Is it two weeks before it? Did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet. Pick up your pace. It's getting late. I see, Mom. I'm just going to. Shall we go over your English exercises together? I can do it alone. You have been working for a whole day. Just go to sleep early. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. All right then. Where is your exercise book? I cannot find it in your school bag. I have taken it out and put it onto the table. Dialogue two. How did you do on your math examination? What a shame! I failed in this examination. What are the reasons? That exam was not very hard. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in math. Interest is the best teacher. I believe that it is most important to develop your interest. That's how I feel as well. But I can't work up any interest in it. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? Well, there is no other way. Your midterm exams are almost here. I decide to help you from this evening. What do you think of it? Thanks, mom. You are really a great mom. Six. Time for bed. Dialogue one. Did you finish your homework? I have just finished, and I want to watch more TV. You have to get up early tomorrow. Hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. Are you ready for tomorrow? Sorry, I'm going to make it up. Have you set up the alarm clock? Yes, I set the alarm for seven o'clock just now. Make sure you brush your teeth. Brushing them regularly helps to ward off tooth decay. You have said for the tenth time. I won't forget it. Sweet dreams. Thanks, and you too. Dialogue two. What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing video games. Enough with your video games. It's time to go to bed. No need to go to sleep. It's still early. We'll give you a few minutes to play through. How about ten minutes? You have to get up early tomorrow morning, and you'd better turn in early tonight and get a good night's rest. I see. Okay. It's so hot. Would you like to take a bath? Sounds good. Could you run me a hot bath? Ugh. I am running the bath water. Thanks, Dad. Seven. Domestic expenses. Dialogue one. How much money did we spend last month? No idea, but I keep a record of our costs. What about the living expenses? I have never counted them. Won't you let me have a look? Oh, we barely made both ends meet last month. Yes, our expenses are mounting up. You know the cost of everything is rising. Take a squint at this; they are rarely needed. Yes, you are right. But I thought they're necessary at that time. We need to keep our spending in check. Well, I remember that. We should organize our spending so that we don't live beyond our means. I promise. I will keep a tight rein on expenditure from now on. Dialogue two. Yesterday I got the gas and water bills. How much is this going to cost? About three hundred dollars. By what date do we have to pay? This Saturday. 
I have to drop by the bank to get some money. How much money are you going to draw from the bank? Four hundred dollars. Could you get more money? I have no cash on hand. I'd like to buy our kids' clothes at a secondhand store. All right. I'll go with you. Eight. Family pet. Dialogue one. Son, what do you want for your birthday gift? I'd like to keep a pet. What pet would you like to keep? Guinea pig, parrot, rabbit, tortoise, dog, or? Can I have a Siberian husky? Okay, the husky is unequaled for stamina and endurance. I want to buy a little puppy. I promise you, you'll like it when you see. Dialogue two. Which of you is going to walk the dog? It's Mary's turn to take the dog for a walk. Okay, Mary, please. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you cleaned out the dog kennel? It smells to high heaven. The exact date has escaped me. Half month ago, maybe. It needs to be well swept out. Hand it over to me. And the dog needs a bath. Carl, run the bath for the dog while Mary walks it. Okay, I'll get ready to go and shampoo him later. Shampooing them too often is not a good idea, as shampoo tends to strip the natural oils out of their coats. Then just bath the dog with clean water. Nine. Weekend plan. Dialogue one. Hey, what shall we do at the weekend? I've no idea about that. What about go skiing? Last Saturday, my colleague went skiing at Holmenkollen, located in Oslo. This is the most famous ski jump in Norway, which is also the biggest in the world. Fantastic! How was that? Really good. They strongly recommend that we should try it sometime. This weekend, I'd like to go skiing there. But I'd like to stay at home and keep my grandmother company. I'll go and talk about it to her. Maybe she likes to go with us together. A family trip sounds very good. Dialogue two. What are your plans for the weekend? I have to work overtime this weekend. What about you, John? This weekend with Lucy. Where should I take her? How about going to the cinema? I went to the cinema with her last weekend. Does she like to go shopping? Girls in general like to shop for new clothes. Yes, she spends much of her spare time roaming about the streets. Why not go shopping with her? Well, I think it will have to do. Where are some good places for shopping? You should do some shopping in Wang Fu Jing Street and Shidan Street. Ten. Receiving guests. Dialogue one. Who is it? It's me, Mary. Could you buzz me in? Sure. Come right in. Wow, beautiful home you have here. Thank you. How nice of you. Come with us. Let me have your coat. Okay. Let me take off my shoes first. Would you please leave your bag here? Oh yeah. Please have your seat. Shall I get a drink for you? Yes, a cup of tea, please. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Dialogue two. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you could come. Come on, please. We are all waiting for you. Is everybody here? Tom's on his way and will be here in a moment. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay. Suppose we wait a while. Can I watch the news on television? Of course. Will you have a drink? I'd like a glass of water, please. There are some fruits and nuts on the table. Do you like eating mango? A nice fresh mango is my favorite fruit. Then have one. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Eleven. 
decorating the room. Dialogue 1 Well, have you bought a place on the lake? Yes, we're having it decorated at the moment. Is it so? We've hired a professional to decorate the house, and we gave them a free hand in doing our apartment over. Is your house the fine repair? Yes. The guest rooms will be furbished with luxurious carpets and fittings. You certainly seem to have cost a lot on the decoration of your house. Yes, it costs me quite some bucks. Dialogue 2 Bill, the bedroom needs doing over. Let me see. Scrape off all the loose flakes of paint before redecorating. But I haven't employed an interior decorator. Why don't we let Bob decorate our sitting room for us? He's a dab hand at decorating. How could we forget him? But I've heard that he's got a very busy timetable this week. Maybe we should wait until next week. Okay, and I'd like to push out new wings of the buildings. We can consider it. Uh, shall we redecorate the parlor? Yes, maybe we can decorate a style concise and lively. Twelve. Settling down in a new place. Dialogue one. What day is it today? It's Thursday. I'd like to have a celebration of the occupancy of a new home. That sounds all right. We're all steamed up to move to our new house. What about Johnny? Has he moved to his new house yet? Yes. They established themselves in their new house. Excellent. We're going to celebrate it together. How do you want to celebrate it? Maybe we could celebrate by getting loaded on champagne. Okay with me. It's a deal. I'll take care of his family. Dialogue 2 I'm glad you could come. Come in and have a look at our new house. Congratulations on your move. What is the layout of this house like? Your new house is certainly out of the ordinary. This is a new house with a huge garden out back in a very quiet area of London. That's terrific. I am jealous of you. My boyfriend can't afford a new house, and no more can I. You will have your own in the future. Do come to our house whenever it's convenient for you. The garden will help to take you out of yourself. I hope your new dwelling will bring you and yours lots of fortune and good health. Thanks.